Now, I don't think it's a secret. All men have insecurities, whether it's our penis size or our hair. We are very insecure about these things. Say for instance, this 65 year old billionaire dies on the operating table from trying to get a penis enlargement. Dude, you are a billionaire. You're 65 years old. I don't think a larger penis is anything you need at that stage in your life, but to each his own. I'm not gonna judge you, even though I just did. But even for bolding, LeBron James, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, you can see here that he is trying to maintain his hair. Unlike the past goats such as Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan, he is opting in to maintain the hairline that he's grown up with. And to his dismay, there's been conversations about his hair. Of his improved hairline as opposed to talking about his shoes. Take a look. You notice something different? Social media memes, the whole nine yards, comments, everything, ridiculing this man for trying to maintain his hair. So let's take a step back and kind of take a look at the life of LeBron James. He's been in the public eye since high school, possibly even middle school, and he's been the cameras have been following him since day one, since his inception into the NBA. And since then, we have yet to see a major blemish on this man's character or image ever. Besides that whole Miami thing and, you know, the Boys and Girls Club, he raised a lot of money in the, in the process, but it still came with a lot of ridicule. But other than that, the man has been spotless, nothing. So what that tells me about LeBron James is he's very meticulous about his image and he cares about it very much. And I think that manifests itself in his hairline as well. The fact that you're going through these procedures to kind of maintain a hairline where your predecessors didn't really care too much about. You're a basketball player, I don't think we care if you go bald. But for you, that must be tied to the type of insecurity. Nothing wrong with that at all. But I think we need to kind of look at the way that we ridicule him and kind of see what's actually going on outside of the league. You can see certain entertainers like Tyga, Safari, and then other ones are actually going out and getting these procedures done and letting people know about it. So I think LeBron James is a martyr in that aspect. Back in the day, people would just get procedures and not really say anything about it. As you can see here, Elon Musk, he was balding at a young age, probably in the 90s, early 2000s, and he bounced right back, got a hairpiece or whatever it is attached to his head. Some not as good as others, but other people actually get decent pieces installed. And I don't think we should actually be ridiculing people for getting them because I think it's going to be something well known in, the, in society. Let's look at women. Women have options for their hair if they're thinning out. They can get extensions, they can get weaves, or they can wear makeup or anything else like that to kind of help them with their insecurities and make them feel beautiful inside and out and in the face of society, right? So for men, I think we need to afford them that same right as well because this is the first generation that's really dealing with hair transplants, micro scalp pigmentation, uh, beard transplants, you name it. So all these procedures are actually being done and they're pretty pricey, but I think once a lot of men start doing it, these procedures may come down in price and it's gonna be widespread. So what do you guys think? Would you get a hair piece put in? Maybe a new beard? Maybe even just stop the balding process, or would you just shave it all off and walk away from it all? So once again, this is Real from Hair Club. Hit that subscribe button below. Follow us on Instagram. Go to our website. Subscribe to our mailing list. Keep it locked here. Let us know what you want to hear next. And until next time, peace.